what is up Capricorn? Let's go ahead and take deep breaths. We're just gonna go ahead and focus in on that, slowing down as I shuffle these cards. As you can see, I already have some cards laid out here for you. I just wanna get like a gist of what your vibe is like at this time. Heavy emphasis on your solar plexus and heavy emphasis on your digestive system, Capricorn. Um, making sure that you are, um, I'm hearing consuming the right things. And this isn't just like consuming like food, but like also like food for thought, consuming um, what's good for the soul. I have the magician. I'm sorry, the Hierophant, my bad. Capricorn, I'm getting, don't let your ego get in the way. Listen, assess the mood, then talk when the time is right. I'm getting, um, this could be a very specific person that you may know um, already. I'm getting, this is somebody that you are um, uh, at a distance from. Um, heavy emphasis on feminine energy. I have the two of cups and reverse here. Um, there might, I'm hearing like there might be some unfinished business with this feminine, heavy feminine uh, female or feminine male. Ten of pentacles. You're, you're really having to really get to know yourself at this time, Capricorn, and that could be why you're at a distance from, I'm hearing like everybody, three of wands. Like you're really just having to understand your inner world at this time, which is so healthy for you. I'm getting like, you're, you're having trouble really, there's something that shook you up and you're having trouble um, centering yourself. We have the lovers along with the Hierophant. Um, this has a lot to do with identity, personality, with this Hierophant I'm getting. With the lovers, I'm getting like, you may be, um, 222 on the timestamp, you may be one um, getting, you're wanting to like be with more than one person, that kind of thing. You're wanting to be with, I'm hearing two people. Um, or perhaps you're in a situation with somebody already and you're longing to be with another. Um, careful on, I'm gonna get, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another card here. Careful on, right when I say careful, you're probably thinking like, what? Don't freak me out, 303 on the timestamp. I'm just getting like, careful on your intentions okay um be very discerning with what feels right with you and not what you can get from people because you don't feel good i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly trust that right if if you are one um having trouble with your i'm hearing identity if you are one having trouble with your yourself like you're, you're just not in what feels like healthy self-esteem I feel like I think that's what's coming up here with these cards is like you're really having to heal that part of you heavy emphasis on your solar plexus I would also look into like different types of foods to eat to heal your solar plexus okay um I'm also getting like you may be um in an a situation where you have more than one um, intimate relations like you have more than one like th there's more than one person in your life that you have this intimate relations with I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth there's a lot of this energy of like you getting out of what feels like self-deprecation, 434 on the timestamp. There is a lot of what feels also fear. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the death card here. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. This card also came up for you earlier when I was um, pre-shuffling on your energy. But a lot of this unwholesome feelings of self-deprecation and self-sabotaging I think it's really catching up to you now, Cap. 
And I don't know if you're liking it very much. And I don't know if that is something that you're um, very comfortable with. Okay. Um, but heavy emphasis on you having to just really trust in what you know. Like trust in what is going to get you to the next level. Wherever you are right now, wherever level you are right now, be there, accept it, even though it's unwholesome, is what I'm getting here. Be on that level, be aware of it, 535 on the timestamp. And even if this is about envy, even if this is about denial, even if this is about grief, even if this is about guilt and your mistakes, be on that level and really feel it out, right? And having to really feel it out, you are also really having to understand a deeper part of you, 555 on a timestamp. You're coming out of it even more and gaining from it if you let it, right? This is like yourself. This is truth about yourself. This is you speaking your truth fully. This is you standing in your truth. This is you having to express your truth and not being ashamed of it. I feel like there was a lot of shame in the past here or what you're, what you're getting yourself out of, your, your feelings of shame, your feelings of mistakes and guilt, 626 on the timestamp, your feelings of incompleteness, you're really finding the, you're really finding this time around refining yourself. I'm getting a lot on personality, um, refining your personality, re, um, checking in with your ego where is your ego at capricorn and how are you interacting with others using it right page of cups remembering like who you truly are and not the person you have to pretend and have to put on this mask to be liked um i'm getting also for some capricorns here if you are resonating with these messages please please comment i'm also getting like you were one in the past that was so, um, that had such low self-esteem. You were once in the past, 727 on the timestamp, where you felt like you did not have enough confidence in yourself to even stand up for yourself. You needed to find such great and strong, solid foundation within yourself in order for you to show up and face the world as you are. As do you see the lady holding on to that lotus, lotus so gracefully and carefully. It's like as she looks down on her doubts and fears, there is something very sacred, right? I'm getting this feeling of her as she looks down on herself, there is still hope chasing after her right and that's probably something that you're having to chase capricorn but you just seem like it just feels like you can't even get close enough to it because perhaps maybe whatever it is that you're having to deal with here emotionally is really really having you think deeply about yourself and it's a, an, a deeper, a deeper sense of healing is what I'm getting. You might have regretted what you had said or what perhaps the energy that you might have, you know, given out. And it might have been very unwholesome or didn't feel, un, uh, it didn't make people feel comfortable or... You didn't make you didn't feel comfortable 909 on a timestamp. You didn't feel comfortable in these moments, right? But you felt like you couldn't do anything more. Like you couldn't even save yourself or save others. There's a lot of pain here. But there's also a lot of hope that's coming through this energy of like 929 on the timestamp. You maybe you I'm getting like you may have somebody in your life who is guiding you spiritually whoever this is for you in your life capricorn take this as it resonates you're really having to trust in them you're really having to also trust in what they're saying um and it could be just like like if you're seeing them on social media or something is what i'm picking up like you're hearing them from a distance right and and this person could be one like who teaches 
Um, I'm getting like who teaches like spiritual, spiritual, spiritual teachings is what I'm getting. And you may be hearing this person and you rely on what this person says a whole lot. Um, you may be one like really having to sit with this. And then when you hear them, when this person comes up and you hear them and they talk about spiritual stuff, you're like, oh my God, that's exactly what I was, that's exactly what I was thinking or that's exactly what I was doing at that time. And you're hearing this spiritual teacher, whomever that is in your life, and they're confirming everything that you have been doing, that you, they're confirming everything that you have been you know, going through in your life, this roller coaster that you may be like experiencing at this time, like it's a lot, Cap. And there's a lot too that you're just, you're really having to understand about yourself that you're not liking very much is what I'm getting. I'm going to get a tiny tarot for you guys. The number one or number 11 could be very significant, Cap. Take that as it resonates. What do we got for our Capricorn tiny tin? The magician. You are very much in enlightenment, Cap. If you're feeling enlightened, I want to put this right here in the middle. I'm going to get another one. You're feeling enlightened. You're feeling like you're changing. It's like this feeling I'm getting at the Seven of Cups here. This feeling I'm getting of like whenever you step into a room, you're just like, ooh. I don't know if I want to go in there or I don't know if I want to show face or I don't even know if I want to like interact. Like you're just in this place of like being in quiet. Um, but your aura also speaks. It shows your determination and it shows your willingness to heal something about yourself. And that's something to consider and to be defined by you, Capricorn. Please like, share, and comment if you guys are resonating with these messages. I would love to hear your story, Cap. Take care of yourselves. Sending you guys good vibes. Much love, you guys. I'll see you in the next. Take care. Bye.